A non-governmental organization has commenced a training session for those described as community defenders against gender-based violence in Adamawa State. The two-day training is aimed at mobilizing men as advocates in promoting gender equity. As the program coordinator, Amina Mohammed mentioned that the training would identify and discuss the high prevalence of violence against women and girls, as well as strategize in the response to such cases. The tremendous shift and change in the behavior and norms and practices of the people of the community because uh, at times were, when, they are, when they are carrying out some of these activities, they weren't aware that these things were offenses or they were harmful practices that should be refrained from uh, being carried out. But with the awareness and sensitization that we've been conducting, people there is a certain shift in the minds of the people that some of these things are wrong and then they have to be done away with, despite that there are cultural things that they've been brought up believing that these things were right. Contribute a lot. We are together with them in the grassroots. We know how they contribute, especially our work, especially our work health. They contribute a lot. Okay. Progress can only tackle this issue by more and more sensitization, by sensitizing the community to know what gender-based violence is, uh, the process of gender-based violence, and if it happens, where to seek for, for redress. Uh, and also to also stand for their rights at any time. When they go to seek for this redress, uh, they should do much follow-up on that to make sure uh, that uh, they have gotten what they want, as in they have uh, gotten justice. The project is supported by the European Union, the United Nations, in partnership with the federal government of Nigeria. Wide-ranging topics were lined up for the training to include ensuring access to justice for victims of gender-based violence, communications and advocacy strategies for engagement towards a prevention, intervention and action on ending violence against women and girls. We have it too. Then this, uh, the, the aspect of corruption, hunger. If somebody is suffering from hunger, then obviously anything that has to do with uh, trust will not be there because if somebody is hungry and you discover some of them we experienced yesterday, they will only some some so they will allow their children to go because of hunger, to go out for prostitution and somehow come back home with some food items just to help the family. These are some of the challenges we have. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.